you pay the employees before paying your bills when they've done the work. That's their livelihood. I'm amazed you're still here, working as hard as you are. Because staff never need to be treated like this, let me tell you. Yo, Robert accidentally stumbled on Jeff Bezos' dream boat. An employee that works extra hard that he doesn't have to pay? Robert's probably so much of a boomer, he's like, uh, you're just lucky to have a job. I don't understand how he still has employees. What's crack a everybody? It's Thundros finally coming to you with uh, part five of Juniper Inn. Seriously, I can't believe you guys are making me do a part five. Do you guys actually enjoy the commentary or do you just hate Robert that much? Not that I blame you because uh, there's a lot to hate about him. I mean, obscene prices, putrid smelling rooms, his inability to pay his staff, and I mean, just his face. We've been over this. I would love to slap that face to watch those jowls jiggle like a pair of tig old biddies. Anyways, before we start, some quick plugs here. First, the like goal of this video is going to be 500. And second, in case you missed the post, uh, I decided I'm gonna do something more with my Patreon. A lot of people have asked me about merch, more specifically hoodies. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be fiscally responsible for me to start producing them, but I figured to my donators I could give away one or two a month, but I don't want it to have a huge paywall, so the entry is only a dollar, and for every dollar you donate from there is another entry. Like, if you donate two dollars, you'll, uh, have two entries in the raffle. I would eventually like to sell merch, but like I said, right now, it wouldn't be fiscally responsible, but I didn't have any extra content to put out on my Patreon, and I wanted to give back something. And keep in mind that I'm gonna start putting a percentage of that Patreon towards my charity idea, and the more money it produces, the higher that percentage is going to be, mostly because I wouldn't feel right just getting all that money. It's weird to ask to be supported, but like, not too much. Enough plugging, and I will put a skip in the comments for this, but uh, let's get to making fun of this idiot. It's always as if what you're saying to him doesn't get through because he sees you as not an equal. He treats me like that, and that really bothers me because I feel like I've contributed a lot. It's actually pretty degrading. This is insane. Oh, he's not talking about Robert's behavior. He's talking about the fact that this guy is still here. Because you'd have to be absolutely bonkers to keep working for Robert under these conditions. If you want to see the root of the problem, let's go to the basement. <laughs> what, are we going to find a second Robert down there? He is the root of the problem. What could y'all be hiding in the basement that's worse than him? Oh god, we're going to find out they put Amy's Baking Company in the basement. Can you even imagine? The food here is already not great, but just adding her terribleness? It's like throwing garlic on French toast. Look at this place. <laughs> Oh my god! Look at this stuff! Oh, so he basically has a discount goodwill in his basement. Even the stuff in decent condition looks like crap. You see that drawer? That's the manager's paycheck right there. Sorry, buddy, we just couldn't pay you. I just, uh, needed another dresser in the basement. I really hope he doesn't bring people down here. This place kinda looks like a violation dungeon. Stereos, wine racks, quilts, chairs, tables, copper pans, more chairs over there. Dude has the world's most overstocked garage sale in his basement and he can't pay his employees. What is up with all those chairs? I mean, I doubt they would even fit in the dining room. Plus, at one point he had Gordon sitting on a couch in the dining room. Like, bro, you have seats. Why aren't you using them? I swear, Robert has the business sense of a turkey carcass. Look at these. Robert prides himself on having to have the very best of everything. Christ, there's enough in here to open three restaurants. Is all this stuff still brand new? Let's take a minute here to imagine if Robert was actually rich. Despite not really having the money, he's hoarding wealth and supplies. Imagine what he would be holding on to if he could afford more. I mean, diamond encrusted hoo-hahs, 40 more sets of chairs, maybe two more Winnebago's. You know Robert would really be living his dreams for like a week until, you know, he's bankrupt and uh, once again not paying his employees. I see Robert as the guy that could win the lottery and be on food stamps by the next month. We're going up to the office. You're kidding me. Oh no, Please, come, come on. on. This is the office. This is the office. Well, god dang, people, I thought I was watching Hotel Hell, but we're clearly on hoarders. Like, look at this place. This is the exact thing I picture when I think of my own life. A complete disaster. Okay, but literally, I can't be the only person thinking this, right? Like, you called the wrong show, buddy. I'm pretty sure TLC was available. You're kidding me. Not at all. I wanted you to- Jesus Christ. It scares me half to death. Oh my gosh. This is insane. It would only take a day or two to sort out this hoarder's heaven but Robert's left it in chaos. A day or two? Like, where are you getting this metric? That is at least three days and like 12 cups of G Fuel. And that's not even considering what paperwork might be in there. Throw away the wrong box and Robert lost his social security card. This is where the pigs are kept. <laughs> at least they look happy. Hey. Pigs who live a life of luxury while everyone around them suffers. Sounds strangely familiar. It's hella ironic that the pig pen looks cleaner than the office in the basement. Like he's literally taking better care of pigs than he is of his own employees. The real question here is why he even has these. Were they pitched to him as antiques or did they just come with that pig statue from earlier? Buy one pig, get two real ones. It probably sounded like a hell of a deal until he got the maintenance cost. Legit though, why the oink does he have these? By the way, oink was replacing the word f Bloody hell. So the owners live out 
the pig live in? There's more. So check out the storage units. We're gonna find out this guy has a whole farm in there. Like, he can't handle a hotel, but he has a side business of livestock. He does need some kind of money flow. I mean, I doubt anyone's gonna pay for feet pics from him on OnlyFans. I thought I had too many things when I filled a walk-in closet, but this dude's turning into the worst part of the Little Mermaid. Except instead of statues, forks, and other cool things, this dude's just got chairs, chairs, and more chairs. I guarantee he's got some kind of sitting fetish or something. Nobody has that many seats without a serious psychological issue. I just realized another better reality show we could've put him on would be uh, My Strange Addiction, because, you know, he'd just be like, hi, I'm Robert, and uh, I'm addicted to buying chairs. This one's all personal items. Look at oh, this. Jesus. I mean, I swear to God. It's like a special edition of Hoarders. I mean, honestly. I think a piece of me just internally male owed at the reference to Hoarders. Gordon Ramsay referenced Hoarders. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm completed now. Now we just need to wait for the inevitable collab 20 years down the road. On one side, we'll have a professionally trained therapist explaining to them why they need to throw this stuff out and helping them guide through the process. On the other, Gordon screaming at them to get their f***ing life together. What a beautiful piece of reality TV that would be. Wow. I'm in shock. You know that. And this one? All of this entire storage unit is full of chairs. What is up with this dude's obsession with chairs? Like, was he planning a fight scene for Jackie Chan? Or was he gonna go into the WWE? I can hear it now being like, oh no, 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 oh here comes Robert with the chair! Like, there has to be a reason for this obsession. It's that or, you know, he was planning for like a thousand people to come in at once. Even though he can barely fill the rooms he has now. Oh my god. Look at this stuff, honestly. I mean, they must be packed with thousands of dollars worth of... Hundreds of thousands of dollars. How much stuff does one need? I don't know why it didn't occur to me before, but it's it's really weird that he has all this stuff. Like, homie doesn't even have a house and he's buying enough to furnish 20. Like, he could be donating this to college students or, you know, people that just need furniture, but n no, you know what? I'm, I'm sure they're doing great in the storage unit. Him and his freaking hoard of chairs. Bloody hell. I can't believe how much stuff Robert has bought. He must have spent a fortune. I've got to meet Robert's partner, Ari, and find out why he's financing all this. I'm just guessing, and I'm sorry to put that image in your mind, but vitamin D. It's just about the only reason I can come up with that someone will let their spouse buy a thousand chairs. Like, nobody lets their partner go into this deep of madness unless they're getting something. Honestly, Ari, bro, you gotta get out of there. I'm pretty sure Robert's a psychopath. Nobody who collects this much of anything is sane. So, how much money have you put into this business personally? More or less, uh, over a million dollars. A million dollars? And how much have you seen back? Nothing. Look at that face. You have flabbergasted Gordon Ramsay. He's probably thinking to himself, are you kidding me, you bloody moron? We all know 500,000 of that is in shares. Do you think Ari even realizes how much furniture they have? Dude's probably senile and Robert's just cashing the checks. It was all my, my uh, severance package, my income that I, when I was working, and then my retirement plans. Robert's savings are in artwork uh, and antiques. I have supporting this in with my my savings. And now we need to get Dr. Phil in on this so he can be like, and how did that work out for you? Not great! God dang though, Robert will rob anybody. Just look at the list. Men, old ladies, his own boyfriend. Is he stealing food scraps from the pigs too? How far is this man willing to go? I bet you could find a photo of this guy mugging his mom when he was nine. But I'm gonna start wrapping the video up here. Like I said before, the like goal is gonna be 500. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. I I'm sorry I'm not really at my A game right now. I bit a hole in my tongue, so this video was kind of hard to produce and I had intended for it to be a little longer, but like, I, I, I can barely talk. Anyways, try not to do anything too stupid. Please keep yourself safe, and until next time, this is Thundro signing off.